my channel. If this is your first time here, it's me, Maria. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm super excited to have you guys here with me today. I got my little flower headband going on, feeling super summery. You'll see how it ties into our video today. But I'm super psyched to have you. Today we're gonna be doing a no foundation makeup look, all right? We're gonna be looking flawless, not have to worry about making sure that our foundation stays on all day through our sweat, even though, you know, we do have some tricks to keep foundation on, but for those days that we wanna be a little bit lighter, you know, and not feel like we have to take that 10, 20 minutes to get ready. This will take us like five minutes to get ready. You know, sometimes I like to do no foundation look, kind of let my skin breathe, that kind of thing. And you're gonna see how gorgeous it's about to look and people are not even gonna know that you don't have foundation on, like seriously. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell right there so you can get notified of all my future videos. And without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get started. So, you know, we do need to prime this baby up. So actually, I went to Macy's the other day and I got this cute little bag. It says never not busy, cause girl, you know we always busy. And this was Tarte and we got maracuja oil in there, which I was so excited to use. I've been using it for the last two nights and I can see such a difference already in my face. Actually, I paid $24 for that like makeup bag and the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment, which you guys know I've been like on this uh, vitamin C brightening kick for my face, which I have seen so much of a difference. So I'm very excited to have this addition. This is what the eye treatment looks like. Hopefully you guys can see, it's very small writing. But I figured I got this little bottle, right? It's actually pretty big. It's not even that small to be honest. Um, you know, it's oil. So you're not using a lot every day. I usually put it on either when I get out of the shower before bed when I do like my night care, um, you know, like my night skin treatment stuff. So this is the first time I'm trying it before makeup. I already did my eyebrows to save time and I definitely just forgot that I had my eyebrows done and I just rubbed my hand all over my face. Did we take my eyebrows off? Okay, no, I mean a little bit, but it's okay. We'll fix these bad boys. No, no worries, just don't judge me right now, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I just wiped off my eyebrows. <laughs> I never have them done first, you guys know this, that I always do the face and then the eyebrows. Oh, you know what? Forget this shit. Let's take these eyebrows off, we're gonna start from scratch, girl. I'm using the Up and Up Refreshing Wet Cleansing Telex compared to Pond's. This is what I got in the Target haul. Remember I got like um, like seven packs, like 90 um, towelettes for $6.99. So let's just take that eyebrow stuff off. Now, let me put a little drop by my eyes since I pretty much wiped it all off. I put it all around my eyes, under the eyes, this oil has helped, I, I like read all the reviews on Sephora about this Tarte oil and literally it has so many benefits. It helped people with cystic acne, with brightening, like so many benefits guys. Like seriously, look into it and write what you think in the comments, I would love to know. We're gonna put a little bit of this brightening underneath here. Remember guys, this is a no foundation makeup look. So we are going a little bit more in on facial and skincare right now than we normally would. Like normally we would just put on a primer and then our foundation. But because we're not putting on foundation, 
We want to make sure that everything is moisturized, that the skin looks super healthy and gorgeous, and it's ready to go. So we got all this on. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be putting on the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. And we're going to just put this on the face so that our makeup has something to adhere to. Because remember, we're still going to be using um, powders and stuff on our face. So we need something that's going to help lock in the makeup. You'll have to excuse Simba. When I don't pay attention to him, he gets all jealous and he cries. He's not really sad. He's just being Simba. Don't mind. Don't mind him. Do you guys see I did my hair? I put more blonde in it. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I used to be a platinum blonde, but ooh, that's kind of cute too, but can't do that right now because we gotta put stuff on the face now, right? So let's just get this out of my face for a second. So, first and foremost, guys. So, what I like to do, we're gonna be putting on the Spotlight Illuminating Primer, number one. This is from Physicians Formula. It's freaking amazing. I got this at um, CVS. It has so many benefits for the face. We're gonna use this because it is not tinted. It's not like a CC cream. That, I feel like that's kind of like cheating when you use a CC cream. Not throwing shade, but because it's like you're tinting your skin still, you know? This is just a glow. So, you're gonna see. It's a beautiful glow that when the light hits, you're gonna see pretty shine. And it smells so good, by the way. Okay. So, now that we got that on, do you see how glowy and gorgeous this looks already? I hope you guys can see in my lighting here how beautiful this Spotlight Primer is. It's amazing, by the way. Like, it's so good. It was like $17, too, from CVS, which is a little bit pricey, I know. I know, guys, because we like drugstore here in, at, in this channel, but I really, really do like it, and it's really good, especially for days when we're doing no foundation makeup looks, so. All right, so let's do this. So first, what we want to do is we want to spray and lock this in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our Pixi Glow Mist, and we're just gonna lock on whatever we just did, okay? Oh yeah, girl, more glow. Don't worry, we're gonna be hitting with the matte later, that matte spray. You know, you already know, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that, let's just let that dry for a second. Whew, I need to get one of those fans, right? So I could be bougie like everybody else. I hope you guys are digging the yellow vibes today. Cause I am. I cannot wait to go get my nails done. You guys know like I'm somebody who like, I get my nails done every two weeks. I'm like obsessed. As soon as I get my nails done, when I go home, I'm already looking like what I'm gonna do next time. It's really bad, I know. But. It's like, that's how I reward myself. I would love to know how you guys like do self-care and how you reward yourself. Like, nails are like my thing. Makeup and nails. I have to have my nails done. If I don't do my nails, I feel like ugly. Like, <laughs> I know, it's crazy, right? But like, some people like, if they don't do their brows, they feel ugly. It's like, you know, like everyone has their thing. Nails is my thing, I have to say. All right, so. Now that we got all this going, we're gonna put on some concealer, girl. So today we're gonna be using the Super Coverage, Born This Way, in vanilla. I'm gonna take this right underneath the eyes. As you can see, my um, under eyes are so much brighter than they used to be. I don't even really have to go in with a, um, concealer but I said you know what let's do it just for like the sake of 
if we were going out somewhere, you know, and we really wanted to cover up the under eyes and things, that we could still do a no foundation look and still be able to look gorgeous and not feel conscious about our under eyes. So, we're taking a damp little blender. This is the Real Techniques makeup sponge. Let's blend this out. want to really press the concealer into the skin because you don't have foundation for the concealer to mesh into you want to really really press okay so you get that flawless look perfect all right so now we're gonna contour girlfriend let's do this we're gonna take our Makeup Revolution contour stick. We're gonna put a little bit. Now, if you'll notice, I'm using this in F12. It's a little bit of a lighter contour. Cause you guys know I have the other Makeup Revolution concealer in, what is this, C14. So this is very, very dark and warm compared to this one here but I want to use this one and you want to try to find one that's a little bit lighter like this kind of brown because you're not going on top of foundation. It needs to look as natural as possible, okay? All right guys, let's do this. Here's where the magic happens. I hate ruining my beauty blender. Does anybody else feel like that? I'm like, no, it's so beautiful. Right, let's do this. Again, you want to press into the skin. Okay, beauties. So we're almost there. We've got some color on there. So what I want to do is I just want to take a little bit of the Born This Way down the middle of the nose because I don't want to lose the snatched look and have the brown be too much in the middle. So. See how that works? Okay, just like that. All right guys, so now we're gonna take our air spun loose powder. We're gonna bake that baby and lighten up everything. So first you wanna check under your eyes. Make sure that concealer didn't set. We're gonna take our wet beauty blender Here's where the magic happens, ladies and gents. Now we're gonna take our 
our beauty blender, we're not gonna wipe it away. We're going to press the powder into the skin. Because we do not have foundation for this to adhere to, we wanna make sure that the powder is locking the cream products in. You wanna press that powder into the skin with your beauty blender. Okay, do not wipe away. Okay, so you see how we're starting to look totally like even and gorgeous and matte now? because we want to be matte, right? Because we just set with powder. So now that we're matte, we're looking gorgeous. Let's do this. Let's finish up the face and then we'll go into the eyes. You know what? Let's do the eyes and then we'll finish up the face with our bronzer, blush, and highlight. All right guys, so we're using one of my favorites, y'all know, my Profusion Infatuation Palette. Loving this. We're gonna do something super cute, super chill today. Cause we're wearing yellow, some yellow. <laughs> we're gonna go in with this halo right here and polite. So we're going in with halo. I just stabbed it with my nail, no! So we're going in with halo, this yellow right here, that one right here. And we're using the BH Cosmetics number six brush. Do you see that guys? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Just wait for it guys, just wait for it. I'm gonna take a little bit of bouncy and just add it to the outside corner of the eye by the crease. This is bouncy right here. It's like a burnt orange brown. Just like that, do you guys see how beautiful that is? That took me two seconds. All right, so now we're just gonna take that bouncy color using the BH number five brush. Giving some pop of color under there. Jive is this a really gorgeous hot pink right there. Can you guys see that? Hope you guys can see that. Gorgeous. Do you see this? I love it. Okay. Shake that off, shake that off. Oh, and then for our corner, hmm. Let's go with Oasis. Put a little pop of color. I'm 
from K Girlfriend. So we got San Miguel. We're gonna be using the Brow Contour Pro from Benefit on the eyebrows today. I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade first. Twist that up. You guys can see. I have this like random hair that's like really annoying me. Okay, one brow done. Let's do that other side. that done, I'm just gonna take my spoolie from my Sonia Kashuk eye set. I'm just gonna go over this, make sure everything looks real natural. All right, so now that we got those eyebrows done, so we're just gonna go ahead do our top mascara. I'm using my favorite, favorite mascara. The L'Oreal Superstar X Fiber. Like, look at those eyelashes, guys. OMG. I'm using side one. Let's go in with side two. I'm loving this mascara. I can't get, I use it every day. I just, I love it. Like, look at these lashes, guys. When you're going for a natural day, like we're doing today, like this is the go-to, yo. Y'all need to get on this and go cop this shit. Simba wants to play with a water bottle. <laughs> Crazy. All right guys, so let's bronze up this face. We're gonna go in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Megastar, gorgeous. So I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Angled Brush. This is our number three brush.
We're gonna go in with our Milani Coral Cove. Beautiful blush that I'm in love with. With our big brush. It looks like a rose, it's so beautiful. Tap it on there. Get some color on these cheeks. Look at how beautiful this blush is. I can't, it's so gorgeous. And we're gonna be taking our Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter to go along with our yellow theme. And this is in Monumental. Look how gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is just take some on the finger here, in the back of my hand. We're gonna dab. Oh my God, do you see how beautiful this is? Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. Oh my God. And I always go over it with my beauty blender so that it blends into the skin because it is a jelly. It doesn't kind of go in on its own. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm in love. We want to glow everywhere, girl. So beautiful, oh my God. All right, so on top of our jelly highlight, which is already beaming, like, do you see this, guys? So beautiful. We're gonna go over it with a powder. We're gonna use the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Highlighting Palette. We got four gorgeous highlights. So I'm just gonna use a little dome brush. I'm gonna go over this pretty gold here. Cause I feel like the other one is gonna to be too dark. My God! Guys, this is beautiful. Do we see this? Do we see this beaming highlight, girlfriend? <gasps> I'm in love. Gorgeous. Let's finish up with our spray and then we'll go in and do our lippy. So, today we're gonna to be using the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. You guys know that I've been wanting to continue to try this and see how it works. This is what it looks like. So let's do this. Don't forget to press. This 
This is so everything melts into the skin. That's what the setting spray does. It melts everything into the skin. Oh my God, look how I would look with short hair. <laughs> God, it took me forever to grow it where it is right now. I would never cut it again, not for a long time. All right, let's do this lip. So let's go in with Wet n Wild. some Stay Satin Liquid Lip in Psych. Okay, so guys, we have made it to our final look. So, this is what it looks like when we do a no foundation. Flawless makeup look. Let me get some snaps, girl. Mm hmm I really, really like the way this came out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, seriously, guys? Woman to woman? You know, woman to man? You know? Beauty influencer to beauty influencer. Beauty guru to beauty guru. Makeup lovers, I'm shouting to y'all. Doesn't it look like I'm wearing foundation? I know. I know, it does. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, makeup tutorial. I know that I did. I'm really happy that I was able to play with makeup today with you guys, show you guys some tricks and tips that I have that I've been doing. I've literally been doing my makeup li like this all week because it's been like in the 70s over here in New York and it gets super, super humid. So I'm not trying to be inside, think I look good, go outside and then like my foundation is like here and I have like this like oval in the middle and I'm pale all around here. I'm not trying to have that, all right? So therefore, we've got to come up with other things and be creative and innovative. So <laughs> all right guys. So until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye.